Hey, what's up YouTube? What's going on? In this new video, what I wanted to do is share some thoughts about seated desks and standing desks. And this video is for anyone that may be considering investing into a standing desk or maybe a combination of a seated and standing desk together. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is that prolonged sitting or prolonged standing, both of these are not going to be good for somebody. And over time, if you continuously sit for a prolonged period of time or continuously stand for a prolonged period of time, this could really beat up on your body. And you could just ask anyone that maybe stands for a prolonged period of time. You'll often hear these people complain that their feet hurt, knees, hips, low back. Or if you ask someone that sits for a prolonged period of time, you'll often hear people complain that their low back will start to bother them or they'll have some discomfort. And this would be even worse for people that already have some existing problems or existing injuries with their body. Now, the one thing to understand though is that when it comes to sitting and standing and what position is best for you, the best position is a changing position and a position where you're constantly changing your posture. Because by constantly changing your posture, you're taking yourself out of the prolonged static, static loading position that is placed on your body. And by switching to different positions, you allow for different tissues to maybe recover that maybe have been stressed from the prolonged sit sitting or prolonged standing. And as a result, it's easier on your body and there's, a less, there's less risk involved with maybe problems developing or maybe it's helping spare certain joints or certain areas of your body. So the one thing to understand is if you're maybe considering investing into maybe a standing desk or a seated and standing desk is that the best position is one that's changing. Now to break down a little bit of research, uh, Jack Callahan and colleagues did a review in which they stated that the an optimal kind of ratio may be about 30 minutes of standing every hour. And so that may be something to shoot for for somebody out there that maybe doesn't really have any current issues going on. So maybe you sit for 30 minutes, then you stand for 30 minutes every hour just so you could change things up and you're always constantly changing your posture. Maybe if you're at work or maybe you're doing something at home, you're working at home. Now, for someone with existing low back problems, maybe knee problems, uh, foot problems, hip problems, it's going to be different. And whatever, or what my suggestion would be is whatever works best for you at the end of the day. Maybe you could only sit for 10 minutes and then standing for 50 minutes would be good for you and then you could kind of follow that ratio every hour if that's what works for you. So the important thing to understand is that you need to find what is best for you. What postures work best for you and what and how long can you tolerate those postures for without triggering your symptoms or causing discomfort. discomfort. And once you can find that ratio out then you could start to implement that into your daily routine. I personally think that a seated and standing desk combined is good. It's just as long as you're changing the time that you're spent in those positions up every so often for what works for you. And it seems that 30 minutes roughly may be the standard right now. So 30 minutes of standing and then maybe 30 minutes of sitting. But for people with existing issues and other people out there, they may tolerate this much differently. And some people just can't sit at all. Unfortunately, that's just because of the results of their pain triggers and sitting just may trigger their pain immediately. So they may have to revert to standing for a prolonged period of time. And maybe they alternate that with laying on the ground or laying on the floor. But I just wanted to share a couple of those thoughts and a few important things that I thought you guys should know about seated desks and standing desks. Personally, I think that them alone prolonged standing, prolonged sitting are not good. But if you combine the two and you don't have any existing issues and you switch things up every so often, that is best for yourself. Maybe that's 20 minutes of standing, maybe 40 minutes of sitting, or maybe 30, 30, or maybe 40 minutes of standing, 20 minutes of sitting, whatever it is, whatever works best for you. I would suggest follow that. And that way 
It can maybe help spare your body a little bit and prevent some issues from developing in the future. So those are just my suggestions. I think that a, a, a seated desk and a standing desk combined can be helpful. But like I said, it really depends on an individual's injury history, what's going on with their body right now, whatever issues they may have. They just have to work around things and develop the appropriate intervals of sitting and standing and maybe even lying down as well for themselves and what works best for them. So that would be my final suggestion there. Just find what works best for you and then follow that and develop the appropriate intervals for you. Okay, so just wanted to quickly share that, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, comments, anything you'd like me to address in a future video, be sure to leave a comment below. And until next time, guys, all the best and take care.